Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we talked about different types of recipients in Exchange 2019 and how to manage those recipients. In this particular video, we will be talking about transport pipeline in Exchange 2019. We will talk about the components of transport pipeline and we will discuss how email flow works in Exchange 2019 organization. Transport pipeline is a collection of services, connectors, components and queues. Those work together to manage email routing in Exchange Server organization. Before we deep dive into transport pipeline, let's understand what are the different components of transport pipeline. Those help in managing email routing. In Exchange 2019, Transport Pipeline has four components. Front-end Transport Service, Transport Service, Mailbox Transport Service, and Transport Service that runs on the Edge Transport Server. Front-end Transport Service runs on the Mailbox Server. This service works like a proxy service for all inbound and outbound external SMTP traffic for the Exchange organization. This service accepts the SMTP connections from the other SMTP servers on the Internet. It receives emails and initiates SMTP connections for email sending. This service doesn't inspect email contents, but this service can filter the emails on the basis of IP connections, domains, senders and recipients. Next is transport service on mailbox servers. This service also runs on the mailbox server. This service is similar to the hub transport server role that existed in Exchange Server 2010. Transport service handles the internal mail flow within Exchange organization. This service has further components. Those help this service to handle the email routing. The first component of transport service is SMTP receive. When emails are received by the transport service, a series of multiple processes is performed to validate that email. This includes message content inspection, transport rules, anti-spam and anti-malware inspection. Once the email is passed from SMTP receive and this email is not rejected by any of the anti-spam agents or anti-malware agents, SMTP receive places that email in the submission queue. Submission is the process of putting the emails into the submission queue. The submission queue stores all the emails on a disk until the categorizer processes them for delivery. While categorizer processes an email, a copy of the email remains in the submission queue. And after the email is successfully processed, the transport service removes the email from the categorizer and from the submission queue. Next component is categorizer. The categorizer performs four important tasks. Routing resolution, recipient resolution, bifurcation and DL expansion. The categorizer processes all the emails and decides what to do with each email based on its destination. It retrieves the emails from the submission queue, processes them and delivers the emails to the delivery queue. When an email is received in Exchange organization, Categorizer matches the email address of the recipient with an associated object in Active Directory. If match is not found, the email will be rejected and it generates an NDR or non-delivery report. Bifurcation is the process when same email is sent to two or more users, those are located in different sites. Categorizer checks the path to route that email. It creates a direct connection to the hub transport service that is close to the recipient's mailbox server. This is called bifurcation. Apart from this, Categorizer expands the distribution list so that each recipient can be identified who belong to the distribution list as a member. Next component is delivery queue. Delivery queue contains the emails. Those are not delivered to the recipients because of any reason. It could be recipient not found, transport service is not available, 
or any other reason. Next component of transport service is pickup and replay directories. The pickup directory is used by the administrators for mail flow testing or by the applications that create and submit their own emails. And the replay directory receives messages from third party gateway servers and can also be used to resubmit emails that administrators export from the queues of exchange server. And the last component of transport service is SMTP send. SMTP send component is used to send emails to the recipients. The recipient can be located on the same mailbox server or it can be located on a different mailbox server that is part of the same database availability group. Or it can be on the Internet. So all these components help transport service to manage the routing of the emails. The third component of transport pipeline is mailbox transport service. This service run on mailbox server. Mailbox transport service has further two services. Mailbox transport delivery service and mailbox transport submission service. Mailbox transport delivery service has a component that is called store driver delivery service. This service delivers the emails to the mailbox database. And mailbox transport submission service has a component that is called store driver submission service. Store driver submission service retrieves the emails from the sender's outbox and submits those emails to the submission queue. Once these emails are submitted to the submission queue, it moves the emails from the sender's outbox to the sent items folder. The fourth component of transport pipeline is transport service on edge transport servers. This service is very similar to the transport service that runs on the mailbox server. If you have an edge transport server installed in the perimeter network, all the emails coming from the Internet or going through the Internet flows through the transport service that runs on the edge transport server. We will discuss this service in detail when we will configure edge transport server in our exchange organization. So now let's understand how email flow works in exchange server organization and how each component that we discussed plays an important role in email flow. When an email is sent from the Internet to an exchange server organization, the email is accepted by the receive connector on front end transport service. Then this email is handed over to the SMTP receive component of the transport service. On this level, few checks are performed on that email. For example, transport rules, anti spam and anti malware checks. If this email is passed from these checks, then this email is submitted to the submission queue. Then categorizer picks that email from the submission queue. It will first verify if the destination email address is correct. If this email is sent to a distribution group, in that case, categorizer will expand the DL so that it can identify the email address of the each member. Then categorizer will perform routing resolution. That means it will identify if the recipient is internal or is external and then will hand over the email to the delivery queue. During routing resolution, if recipient is found as external user, in that case, the email will be routed to the Internet through a send connector. And if recipient is internal, then this email will be forwarded to store driver delivery service that runs on mailbox transport delivery service. And store driver delivery service will deliver this email to the mailbox database. And this email will be delivered to the user's mailbox. If a user sends email from exchange organization, store driver submission service picks that email from the user's outbox and it submits that email to the submission queue. Categorizer picks that email from the submission queue. It performs a routing resolution, recipient resolution, bifurcation, and if email is sent to a distribution list, it expands the DL to check all the members of that distribution list. After these checks, Categorizer forwards that email to the delivery queue. And if recipient is external, 
the email will be routed to the internet through a send connector. And if recipient is internal, the email will be handed over to the store driver deliver service that delivers the emails to the mailbox database. So this is how email flow works in Exchange 2019 organization. In the next video, we will configure Exchange organization to send and receive emails from the Internet. We will understand what are the prerequisites for configuring external email flow. We will meet all these prerequisites one by one, and then we will test the email flow. So that is all for now. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.